Go Hello ahead. everyone. Today we're joined with Joanna Downing, a senior at Middletown High School North and she's a student filmmaker. So thank you for joining us today, Joanna. Thanks for having me, Sophia. Of course. So first, can you tell us a little bit about how you got started in filmmaking? Sure. So when I was younger, I had an iPad and I love making movies. Every time my friends would come over, I would say, be in a movie, I'll make it, you act in it. So yeah, at a very young age, I just loved everything about it. Hmm. What was your first film that you created? My first film, let me think. What was my, well, like, do you mean like professional? Um, yeah, either one, whatever you think of. All right, yeah. So my first real film, I would say, would be Rules to Follow. It starred my mom and my friend Paige, and it was just about her following the rules. <laughs> cool. So what is your favorite part about filmmaking? Um, probably telling a story. I think it's really important to make the audience have a sense of why you're making the movie. And I think it's really important to understand yourself while you're making a movie and why you're telling such a, a story that is so important to you. Do you have any mentors or people that you look up to that have inspired your filmmaking journey? Um, well, actually, because of you, I met your mentor, Rafe. Um, he's a really cool guy really inspired me this summer um who else uh mr colin uh <laughs> you know gets our films out there gets us connections with the film festivals which is awesome and yeah can you talk a little bit about your photography business okay i started my photography business joanna lee photography in my sophomore year so about roughly two years ago uh, it has been such a fun journey. I love photography. It's always been a passion of mine. And um, getting locally recognized by students or getting re referred from other students to other students for like either senior pictures or uh, sweet 16s or just regular Instagram pictures. It's so much fun. I love to do it. And having people want me to take their picture is just such a cool feeling. What is your favorite part about having your own photography business and getting to like capture these moments? Um, my favorite part is probably being my own boss. <laughs> um, I love having a company that is totally creative. I have total um, say over what's happening, where, like what I get to do. Um, um, so I love pictures, um, especially like looking back on old pictures of me, you always want to capture the moments, even if they aren't posed per se, like the candid moments, they're really important, I think, in life to look back on and just appreciate. And if I can capture that moment for someone else, I think that's just so cool. Well said. <laughs> um, what, what was one of the most memorable photo shoots or events that you had to capture? One of the most memorable photo shoots I've ever done was probably my friend Sarah's Sweet 16. It was at such a beautiful location. There was a water fountain in the background. We got so many good pictures and it was a lot of fun because I knew her family already. So it was just like, get, it was just so fun. They were so welcoming and a lot of the pictures came out really well um and then that really opened my eyes into wedding photography which is actually something i really want to do uh later in my well i don't know but so later but <laughs> i really want to do wedding photography um hopefully get my get get the get a head start on it i know i follow a lot of uh wedding photographers on instagram and like either they started like as an adult or like later but i feel like i have such a passion for it that if it can start earlier why not so that's 
leads me right into my next question. What do you plan to do in the future with your photography and film? Um, I plan to go to college. Not quite sure where yet. I'm still in the application process. Um, I'm either going to go in-state or probably New York, uh, depending on when COVID, what every, I don't even know what the situation is going to be like next year. But, you know, wherever, whatever it is, um, I think I'll be where I have to be. Um, I really want to make a blockbuster movie. And I also want to travel the world and be a wedding photographer. And whether opportunities come my way, I will take. Do you plan to continue your business? Oh, yeah. I'm going to expand on it, build on it. Um, hopefully, like, uh, maybe change my logo, like, change, you know, as I get more professional, I think I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to keep it. Um, I love the name of it because it's my name. It, I feel like it's very personal. So I feel like it's just meant to be like, I feel like I should have, uh, have always had this business. Do you have any words of wisdom or advice for young filmmakers and photographers? Some advice that I would give young filmmakers and photographers is to always say yes, because you never know what opportunities will lead to other opportunities. And another piece of advice I would give, if you love something, just just go with it. Get a head start, because I started when I was 16. I started when I was 16. And from there, I have done seven Sweet 16 parties, I've done an engagement party. I have done, um, what else have I done? I've done music videos, which is still in the working in the mix, but that's okay. I've done, um, I'm making a commercial right now for my friend's mom, who's an artist, and she's leaving me to other opportunities with other clients. Like, um, I would just say start when you know you love something. Yeah. Um, this is kind of out of order, but can you talk about your films and like go through each one or the ones that you remember and just talk a little bit about them? Sure. So I'll do like the ones I got in because those can be used for the film festival, right? Right. Um, one of the films I made is called North Film Doc. It's basically just a and a of all the kids from last year um who participated in film class who also made films and actually together we interviewed them asked them about their futures kind of like what you're doing right now with me but uh last year we were in person before um quarantine and yeah we put it together and it got it's been doing pretty well in uh film festivals and then um another film i made was titled Kindness, kind of like the same format. I went around asking staff and students um, different questions about like, what's the nicest thing someone said versus the worst thing someone's ever said to you. And it's um, all just about being kind and that's been doing pretty well too. Um, another film I made was called The Letter. It stars my uncle. And my friend Ashley and I followed him around with a camera and Red Bank, and we put a voiceover over it, and it looks pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. So. Anything in the works right now? Yes. I am currently make, uh, making a commercial for my friend's web website. Um, she's an artist. She's my friend's mom, actually. My friend's mom. She's an artist. I'm making her, like, little... 30 second, maybe a minute short commercial, just um, advertising her artwork and her process. And um, yeah, so that's really exciting. I'm excited about that. So that's the main thing in the works right now. Cool. Yeah. Did you work on anything over the quarantine? Uh, well, as you know, together we did uh, some interviews that will be going on the news pretty soon. Um, we also together we made a short film with our friend Yasmin and that looks really cool and um I actually did do a sweet 16 during quarantine it was in a backyard during the summer so it was safe and it was a lot of fun yeah that's what I did in quarantine <laughs> um anything else you would like to say 
Um, I'm excited to see what my future brings in this filmmaking industry and uh, photography industry. Um, I'm really excited to see what you do with the school news. And I, I'll always be a part of the film club and class at Middletown North. Like, I don't think any of us film kids will ever leave, per se. It'll always be a part of us. So, yeah. I guess that's it. Cool. And do you want to plug some of your oh. stuff? Sure. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, joanna.lee.photography, L-E-I-G-H, uh, J-O-A-N-N-A. Uh, my website is joannalee.photography, put the www in front of that, dot, in front of that. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for joining us today, Joanna. And thank you again for having me. Hi, I'm Joanna Downing, and joining us today is Sophia Haverbrock. Hi. So, Sophia, tell me a little bit about North News and your interviews because they are amazing. And can you tell us a little bit about how the experience is going with interviewing all these people? So, I started hosting the news, the North News, last year during my sophomore year. And I just had a really good experience with it. And um, actually, when school got shut down because of quarantine last year, I actually created a an edition of the quarantine news um, in quarantine from my house. And I interviewed a bunch of teachers and principal and the superintendent and the mayor and like a bunch of different people, students. And um, I just created a like a quarantine edition of the news and discovered different people's experiences and how they're adapting in quarantine. And um, like before that, last year the news was kind of just like a monthly thing but now it's like turned into more of a regular show you know so after the quarantine news um i've just been interviewing a lot of different people and i that it's something that i really love to do i love talking to people and hearing people's stories and just hearing different people's point of views and experiences like it's just so fun to me um so this year we, what have I done? Over the summer, I did a lot of interviews and it's actually gotten me a lot of different opportunities and um, gotten me like a lot of recognition and which is like really cool and something that I've been getting used to because um, ever since I was little, I've really liked be being on stage and like being in the spotlight and stuff, but like doing the news and being on camera is like, such a different experience and it's kind of like even being more vulnerable because people can like see you and I don't know it's just like I've had to learn to like not to be not be so like judgmental of myself you know and like I've gotten used to that and yeah we made one North News this year so far um which I had a lot of different segments and it was basically like I did I did most of the segments in that we got to go to Ming's podcast studio over the summer that was like the end of the summer and we interviewed Yasmin and Max so we went to Ming's podcast studio over the summer and interviewed Yasmin and Max which was a really fun experience then we also well I went to the pop-up shop in Red Bank movies for um from the movie Clerks and I got to interview like Ernie O'Donnell and I interviewed um, Mika Borum who was a child actress still in the industry. She um, is a director and she produces things and just like a filmmaker and actor. Um, this um, this guy, Blake Drummond, who um, owns his own production company called Diagonal Media, which I actually um, got an internship for, for their company, which was really cool. I, just worked on that over the past few weeks. So can you tell me a little bit about your filmmaking and some short films that you've made? Mm -hmm. So I started, I'll tell you a little bit about how I got into filmmaking. So I first started out doing community theater, um, which I, I still do that and it's something I really love to do. Um, 
and I started taking acting lessons. And then at the acting school that I went to, um, I met um, Rafe, who is my been my mentor for many years, and he kind of showed me like the like I've only before I met him, I only really saw things from like a stage point of view or like being in front of the camera, let's say, but like he kind of showed me like the other way around and like behind the camera and like how it's like a whole new world and like such a different perspective, which I it was like so cool to me. And I also, I always love to like, me and my dad, uh, like we always really like to watch movies. Like I always liked movies. Um, like when I was little, I was like really like energetic and stuff and I would love to be really active, but something that like my dad would always tell me is like, um, anytime we went to the movie theaters or sat down to watch a movie, I would be like, I would sit down and like be really focused. And I, I don't know. I thought, I just think that's like a cute story because even though I like was really active and like energetic and stuff, like I could sit down and like for the a whole movie and just like be focused and stuff. So, um, that started my love for like filmmaking and Rafe was actually doing like a short film. Um, it was actually, he was trying to do like a TV, starting a TV s series that didn't end up getting like finished, but I got to be part of that. And this is another story that my dad always says, um, on the set of it, um, I was, it took place at a park because I was like a younger version of this character and I did like sit on a swing and stuff. And I saw the slate on the bench, like, you know, like the little clapper thing for the movies. And I like, we always say, love it for slate. Like, <laughs> which I don't know. I just love the idea of like behind the scenes. Like it was so cool to me. It still is. Um, so yeah, I, for a while I did like the community theater, but then I started getting into like filmmaking stuff. And my, I made my first film in seventh grade for like a genius hour project actually. Um, called the Trojan Horse of War, which actually I'm pretty proud of some of it, but it's overall not the best, but it was like, it was so cool and to be able to do that. And that's like where it started. Um, I did this documentary for this show that I was in, um, The Little Mermaid. That was an experience, definitely. It was a lot of work. Like I never really did like any documentary work before. So I definitely, that was definitely a learning experience and it turned out pretty well. Yeah, that was like, those were like my first few projects, but I made uh, Friends Forever, which is like the main one that's was in festivals for a while, which that was actually freshman year. So it's kind of died out, died out now, but um, that was a main one. I did Fly Guy, which was just like a 24 hour like film festival challenge. I did um, in quarantine, I made Free Breeze, which is an experimental piece. It's it's this ball on um, like a foam ball, and it's rolling down the boardwalk, and it like it matches up to music, and it's just like I don't know. It's really like it's really cool. You have to watch it to find out, but it kind of goes on like a whole journey. Um, what else? And then a bunch of like the Newark news things, the interviews. That's the main things yeah cool do you want to plug your youtube channel oh of course so my youtube channel is called sophia directs um s-o-p-h-i-a space directs my instagram is sophia dot directs and my personal instagram is sophia gabriella with three a's at the end uh and make sure to watch the news and Make sure to subscribe and follow me at Sophia Directs and new content coming soon. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining us with this interview. Of course. Thanks for having me.